All right, we are here at South by Southwest, and I'm so excited because there is a new Marvel television show debuting. It is Marvel's Cloak and Dagger. I'm here with the two leads of that show, Aubrey, Olivia. I just am so excited for this show. Thank I cannot you. wait. I'm a huge comic book nerd, so anytime there's a new comic book show, I have no such thing as superhero fatigue. I'm ready to do it. Love it. But talk about this, because this is a this uh, Cloak and Dagger is a TV show. It's going to be on Freeform, and it's in the MCU. So you guys are joining this like pantheon of superheroes, both on television and film. Like how? Like it must be a little intimidating, I would guess. I'd say intimidating. Surreal. Yes, surreal, exhilarating. Well, you know. There's a lot of emotions compiled into <laughs> like both of our bodies yeah, right now. Yeah. yeah. Um, so of the TV shows in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, are there ones that you've already watched that you're like a fan of already? Um, I was actually watching the Defenders. Like the, the Defenders came out when we were shooting. So yeah. So I I was watching that like almost every day. I, I came home from set. Who's your favorite Defender? Uh, I think Daredevil. I'm gonna go with Daredevil. That's a good pick. Probably. Yeah. What about you? I I'm a Jessica Jones girl like hard I just got I just got on to Jessica Jones I'm a little late on the train when it comes to all, like the Netflix and yeah, all that it's like just, I'm but it's a lot, it, it. it's a, it's a lot to take in yes. but I love all of the different crossovers and how at least that's what I'm hearing I'm hearing yes. that there's like lots of and then intertwining have, between yeah. the characters and everything which is cool and then you have the film but first tell folks about the premise because I could but I would spend like six years talking about <laughs> runaways and then I would go into like yeah. reverse things so Give us the nice, cool synopsis of of Marvel's Cloak and Dagger. Yeah, do you want to kick it off? Uh, well, it's basically the story of these two teens from totally different backgrounds that go through this traumatic event on the same night that ultimately leads to their superpowers. Uh, and it's basically their journeys of being on totally different paths, but the, the, the journey of them coming together and just them finding each other and uh, finding that companionship, you know? Yeah. And let's not bury the lead. Little little romance, little falling in love. There's some there's some things from the comics that I hopefully they explore. I don't know yet. I have only seen one episode. Yeah, so. I mean a lot a lot <laughs> <laughs> a lot that Aubrey and I have been like talking about, you know, and, and not just while, you know, we were shooting the season, but even still, like we're so excited to be a part of a show that wants to, you know, focus on current events that are happening mm -hmm. right. right now yeah. in 2018 and I think you know with this show there's a lot that comes with it there's a lot of layers there's a lot of dimensions and I think the characters literally a lot of dimensions literally. <laughs> <laughs> and I right. think you just like the audience just kind of like grows with the characters mm -hmm. you know and you get to you get to really like watch them go on this journey together you know and see how they build this relationship and right. Um, I think, you know, a lot of people are just going to connect to that and relate to. I'm going to get y'all prepared for the shippers. There's more people like me that watch <laughs> freeform shows that are just like, when are they going to get together? So yeah. I'm just going to break yeah. it for you okay. now. That was as tame as it's going to get. Oh, Later sure. on, okay. like, I don't, do they have the name for y'all yet? Like the, like the bridge. Oh, like the ship? Yeah, yeah the I don't ship. know like, yet. Just get prepared. I don't get know. Prepared. Uh, we'll think about it. Yeah. Time deep? I mean, because you could, yeah. <laughs> <Time deep. laughs> we'll make it better. Uh, that's what we saw. <laughs> it came, it would be like cloak dagger ish, cloak dagger. I don't know. We'll, we'll think about we'll, it later. Uh, yeah. That's a hard one. That's we'll marinate on that one. <laughs> we'll do that on that one. But your pilot episode was directed by a director that I absolutely love, Gina Prince by the Wood. That the makes series. three of us. Yeah. Seriously. So talk about Gina, because I could listen to you. She directed one of my favorite films ever. Which one? Love and Basketball. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Love and Basketball. Just, I watch it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, Gina, we are obsessed with. Like, yeah. there's just no other way to put yeah. it. We love Gina. You know, she came in with such an incredible attitude. And I think, you know, we, us as actors, we just, you know, need to be able to work with somebody who wants to create something that, you know, we're, we're just as passionate as about, uh, exactly. passionate about. And so I think, I think we were just really lucky to have somebody who was on set with yeah. us every day, going through the motions and, you know, working out all the kinks. And I don't know. I mean, I, I'm, I want to work with her on every single project Everything. that I do. Like so she, she came in and she set the tone, and made it easy for me. You know, especially <laughs> with it being one of my first lead roles. It, it was kind of like your, your director, especially when you're an actor, is, is kind of that one person that you're going to grow close with after those five, you know, however long you, you take the shoot. So just even meeting Gina, you know, uh, at first was, was crazy for me, just growing up and, and watching her movies, but working with her and, and seeing what type of person she is and seeing how she raises her family and just, just seeing the type of person she is, it's, 
like like we said, we're obsessed with her. Like she's <laughs> she's literally one of our. We sound like that's such what I'm saying. Yeah, we sound people, crazy but, right now. But we, and she's really gonna incredible. be doing another superhero movie soon. I know. With Silver As Black, As she should. So, you know, I know. As she should. She deserves you, that. You guys got on there, and especially, I'm glad you mentioned that this is your first lead role, and you come from Disney, and a lot of you've done a lot of stuff before. But the only thing I'd seen you from was Night Up. Right. That was the only thing I'd seen you from, and to see you in this. So talk about both of you. This is your show. Like you have everything rests on your shoulder. Most of the scenes are with you together or separately. So what was that like? I mean, I think especially, you know, within within this first season, you see these you see both of our characters kind of unfold in their own ways, right. you know? I mean, there's there's a there's a lot there's a lot of scenes that we have together, but there's more scenes where we're apart. And I think that's something that's super interesting about a show that's about two people you know you you think oh cloak and dagger it's going to be about these two but it's about like us on our own journeys and how we're always like somehow gravitating towards each other in every situation and so um you know i think i think for me coming from like sitcom and you know doing comedy all day long and then coming to a, a different genre mm -hmm. of a of a series is it's a different different <laughs> different environment but um but I, I, it's a good challenge, and I think I think you know I'm, just, I'm not speaking for Aubrey, but I think Aubrey would say the same. Like it's a good challenge to be um, in that kind of environment with that tone and that energy. And I think, as I was saying with Gina, like she set the tone to where we when we came to set, we knew that what we were doing was very important, very significant, and it should be taken serious. So, um, just uh, knowing that you were coming into work to tell a story that like needs to be told and is going to impact like has the chance to impact so many people it's it's like let's go you know this this is what i signed up for this yeah. is why i act you yeah. know so um yeah. yeah no that's absolutely excellent well said very very well said and then it's i'm glad that you mentioned the part two where you're drawn to someone and again this is not to give too much away but there's a lot that pulls you guys together but there's also a bit of danger with that and so I was just wondering, was there anything in your personal life where you're like, oh, I, I really am drawn to this person, but it's dangerous that you could pull from where you're just like, we should maybe keep our distance, but it's also somebody that you know you want to like get closer to. <laughs> like every boy I've ever met. <laughs> yeah. Right. Probably not a good idea, but I, I, but I want you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about you? Who do you uh, like it's probably... I don't know, just friends you probably grow up with at, at some point, and you know, you, you can't grow with everyone, so uh, some relationships that, you know, I still love that person, and but sometimes people take different paths in, in life, and yeah, that, that would be my example. Hey, so you crowds. sound like you stayed away, you sound like you went towards it. Okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> maybe for a little bit, and then I realized not a good idea. Right. Yeah, growth. Yeah, growth. both. Yeah. both. Yeah. Growth, I feel that. Growth. I definitely do. Um, of course, it's, it's important to always keep your day ones around. Yes. Always. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Always. So. Um, and then finally, this one, you guys are going to have a, the premiere watch party here at South by Southwest. And fans have literally been like signing up to come watch this big and loud because television, you know, you watch it at home. Some people watch it on their phones, some people watch it on their laptop. What is it going to be like to see like it with this crowd? together like with this huge watch party experience are you guys gonna be there for it we're gonna be there, gonna be there. <laughs> I'm so nervous I'm not gonna lie I'm really? I'm not in a bad way I think they're all good nerves I think mm. you know we spent we spent such a long time you know working on this project and I think now that finally the world is getting ready to see it or at least a small portion of it to hear their feedback is going to be really interesting yeah. and yeah. Um, I, I know we're both really proud of it and you know we hope that it makes the impact and and inspires people the way that we, you know, intended it to. So that's right. the goal. Yeah. Are y'all gonna live tweet it when it shows to the rest of the world? Yeah. Probably. Um. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Aubrey probably. Just I just. Up for Twitter, I'm, I'm on Twitter so now, people. You, you just yeah. signed up? Yeah. <laughs> just. <laughs> I'm late. I'm late. I know. I know. I'm late. I mean, it's okay because actually, in in your line of work and even in mine, I understand the need to like delete and separate. Yeah. But like, yeah, live tweeting a television show is like the best way to watch yeah. it. It's like watching it with the world. Yeah. Right. It's true. Awesome. It's true. I feel like social media has made the world like a just entire big 
high school. Like everybody is just like <laughs> back in high school right now. Bad. You know what? Right. That is, I'm gonna tag that. I'm gonna steal that. That's like <laughs> the best description. We're just in one giant. Literally. High yeah. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got the cool kids here and the nerds over there. It's great. Well, I hope the world gets the chance to watch Cloak and Dagger because I'm so excited for it. Congratulations, you guys. Thank you. Thanks for chatting with us. Thank so you. Much.